Yeah. Also, I got some Lux Master bulbs from work. Yeah. The electrician uh, does a work there. Just happens to be my cousin, and uh, yeah, I got free stuff. Instead of going in the bin, I get to have it, which is cool. And also, uh, my Huan Yang inverter arrived today. Very quick. I thought it was a bit located in China still, but it's actually for have a warehouse in Australia. The seller's based in China. Song Kong. Song Kong brand capacitors. 400 volt, 560 microfarads, 105 degrees Celsius. Now, I got the inverter. It's got a bloody program it. The VFD. About as big as a BAZ. There's a 30 kilo. I think it's the same as the Aussie 50 got. It's the same uh, wattage, I think. Now the fun part is, is the uh, yeah, to um, program the bloody thing. So we've got Earth, RST, Earth active and neutral. I'm pretty sure. I will double confirm that. So I've got to work all this out and program it so I can run this off an external, external potentiometer because this thing is probably going to be a pain in the ass for me. I want to have this in an enclosure, have a remote button on the outside of the enclosure, and this to be protected because these buttons do wear out and break. So I want to have, um, make use of all these, remote, uh, remote control it. Song wears. Yeah, it's all cheap components, but for you, uh, Getting on the VFD bandwagon, it's uh, really not that bad. Oh, I'll just double, 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 double check the wire. I think I'm pretty sure it's um, R, Earth, active and neutral, but I'll just double check. Hong Kong wire and F grip limited. Still having some fun with this. Yeah. Edit, um, Aussie 50 had the same problem. Edit the same problem with this. So it doesn't really explain it properly, so I'll have to watch that video of um, programming this the easy way. Base wiring up, and this matter doesn't want to spin. I don't know what it is, but it works. There mustn't be any magnetism or something in that motor, but it works all right. It just like it doesn't want to spin. There you go. Only during startup, then it slows down. What's going on there? There's no magnetism or something in that motor. What's going on there? That's weird. I need a potentiometer. Big time. What, am I getting not enough amps to it or something? See? It doesn't work now. Weird motor. Hang on. Well, got the wiring, right? That one out. That's in Delta. I'm not sure how this in here works because the terminal block's completely different in that one than what's in this one. I don't know how to use a bloody thing now. Tell it what the fuck I'm doing first. I'm confusing the freaking VFD. But it works. Ten hertz. Yeah, ten hertz it spins. Ten per I one hertz. It spins at ten hertz. If I go to fifty hertz, it won't spin. The motor just doesn't want to spin. That's weird. I want to go higher. 15 hertz, 16. 20 hertz. There's no, there's no um, magnetism in the radar that matter. That's weird. Thirty hertz. Weird. Really weird. 
Yeah. So I said the terminal block in there is not like this one. I'm gonna find out what is what in that thing. I don't know if that's in Delta or Star. I think it might be Star Leo motor. I'm not sure, but it's quite an old motor. But that can run this motor, no worries. Yeah. Weird. Why don't I want to spin, though? That's a weird motor. There you go, it won't spin at 40 hertz, it won't spin. It's got me a spin in it, for some reason. Very <laughs> weird. There you go. Forty hertz. It's about the maximum it will go. I won't spin on anything other than that. Yeah, that's weird. Why won't the motor spin? Like it's getting the the winding is tested fine. They should generate electromagnetism to spin the motor. WTF? That's what the motor's supposed to do, right? I don't know why it ain't doing it. As it stops, bang, it goes all fast. I have to turn this off for a bit before I rewire the other motor up. But it works. But this motor, I'm not sure what the hell's wrong with it. This doesn't want to spin. Okay, this is how this terminal block and this motor looks like. That's all your terminal block is. It's not like that, is it? Nice and easy to understand. This one, not so much. What's going on there? Huh, how do I know which one? I might double check the nameplate here. I don't know if it's actually wired up correctly as it is like that for a VFD. Doesn't say what connection it is. The motor must be wired in Delta. That could be in Star then. But you short those three here, don't touch these either, because the VFD store charge, and they will kick you up the ass. I unplugged it, then I pressed the run button, and it went to run the motor, and discharged most of its residual power in there. I always press the run button after a VFD is de-energised. De de it's the habit I've got to try and uh, get any residual power out of them. I think that should be okay. Hmm. Need some help with this one. There's no information on Delta or Star on this little motor. It's very weird. No marking in there, nothing. It's blank. Weird. How do I wire this one up? Is it... Could be Delta. It could very well be Delta. Which one's UV or W though? I have no idea. Anyway. This motor is a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping I was going to run this motor, but there's no um doesn't want to turn over for some reason. Now, this motor's doing the same thing. It's wired up correctly too. Earth. Straight to Earth, obviously. Okay. I've got to probably get a drive. I'll tell how to drive to drive it. Yeah, I gotta tell the drive what the hell it's doing, how powerful a motor is on it, and how much current to deliver it so it can spin that motor over. Because that feels like it's giving shit all amps. It doesn't know what it's doing, I gotta tell it what to do, so that's the fun part. So it's definitely indulged to this one. Other than 14 hertz. Yeah, well, it's not the motor. The motor's fine. I've got to tell her what, how much time to give it. So, I don't need some. This is my first VFD, by the way. I just got to learn now how do I got to tell it to give the motor some oomph? Because that's sort of talk it's got at the moment. Still on the frequency, it's is right. Given it the frequency, and the motor is turning, but I think I gotta tell it how much current to give the motor to give it some torque there, something usable out of it. And that's the fun part, I gotta program this thing, as I said. Anyway, that'll be enough for now, so it looks like I can program it. I reckon this motor is probably better. This motor is more suitable, it's a nice chunky unit, but I might end up using this one because it's small and compact. I've got uh, quite a fair few pulleys that fit that shaft. Not that one, no. I haven't got any pulleys that fit that shaft. So that matter might be okay.
All right, it's got to tell it how much current or how much oomph to give the motor to turn that thing over at some usable torque. Yeah, I've got to work, uh, do some studying to get this thing to the torque I needed to give that motor. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. It works out of the box. It smells of China, but anyway, it's quite handy to have. So, thanks for watching.